Welcome back subscribers and welcome new viewers. And I want to thank each and every one of you who have subscribed, who like and share my videos, because that helps my whole channel to circulate to more and more individuals who are in need of this information just like you. So today I'm going to be reading from Planets in Transit by Robert Hand. And this is going to be for all of you who have transiting Oh, just a minute, let me check. It just forgot. Yes. Transiting Saturn, square your natal Uranus. And thank you, Shivani, for enabling this video to be made for all of, for everyone. All right, so any of you who would like a private reading from me, or you would like to know the availability of my recently uh, written book, either in written form or in downloadable form, send me an email, thecreativewoman369 at gmail.com. Okay, so let's get, let's find out here. And today I am taping on April 4th and transiting Saturn went into Pisces on March 8th. 2023. Okay. This can be an extremely upsetting and tense period, particularly if you have allowed your life to crystallize into rigid, rigid patterns that cannot easily be changed. This is a time of great tension because your desire for change and new experiences seems to be thwarted by circumstances of other people. If you have been putting up with unpleasant conditions in any area of your life, these will become much more difficult to withstand now. The tensions may become so great that you will unexpectedly take very radical actions that you would not have anticipated a short while ago. Everyone's life needs both structure and change but most people structure their lives in such a way that it is very difficult to change. Although they need to change, they are afraid of it. Consequently, changes can take place only by totally overthrowing the structure. A person who is sufficiently afraid will endure the greatest tensions and frustrations just to keep from upsetting the apple cart. During this transit, you face the challenge of creative change without destructive revolution. If you try to endure the pressure of a situation crying for changes in the face of profound obstacles, you subject your body to extreme tensions, which is not good for your health, especially your nerves. Some people are utterly unconscious of the need for change in their lives. When this transit hits them, changes start to happen suddenly, which can be quite upsetting and unpleasant. The changes may even take the form of accidents, which are often an unconscious and inadvertent release of subconscious tension. You will have problems with any relationships that seem to be holding you down too much. Relationships may break up during this transit, but not usually those in which both people are open to new and challenging experiences. This transit is most threatening to structures that have become routine and rigid. Your work situation may also become oppressive if you are given new responsibilities without any new stimulation or opportunity for a different experience. Here also there is the danger of a sudden break, such as quitting suddenly or even being fired, unless you can learn to incorporate change into your daily routine. Authority figures in general seem oppressive and become the focus of negative energy on your part. Like all 
squares by transit, this one is an opportunity to clear out elements of your life that are not working. Any changes that you fail to make now will cause greater trouble in about seven years when Saturn next opposes or conjoins your natal Uranus. Okay, if any of you would like a written copy of what I just read, send me an email. And I hope this was helpful. Until next time, that's all I have for you. Bye-bye.